Well, are we ready to uh, dive into the land of Eam? I'm very ready. Oh, right. I said world earlier. The land of Eam. <laughs> oh, is, is it the world of Eam? No, oh, it's land. Know. You got it it's right. It's land of Eam. I had it right. I had good. it right. Uh, We've just been saying Eam. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, my gosh. Yeah. No, this is... Um, so I talked a little bit uh, ago about... Um, the tales from the city kind of tapping into that love of uh <laughs> I, I i i talk about my love of cartoons uh my love of playing weird characters mm -hmm. and um oh dj regular we'll shout you out again oh yeah <laughs> repeatedly um, repeatedly the, the the clips of the week are awesome um mm -hmm. So the land of our uh, land of Eam is another is a fantasy RPG. It feels very cartoony. Uh, it feels a lot yeah. like um, Adventure Time to me. Uh, I, I dare say it was probably a little bit inspired here or there, <laughs> and um, and, and not 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 like it, it, it's it's great. Right. Um, so anyway, I've prattled on a little bit. Mm. Uh, why don't you why don't you kick this review off? Cool, cool. I have been reading through this for a couple of weeks now. Uh, I'm a big fan of what's going on here in the land of Eam. Um, this uh, this fantasy RPG, I'm going to say right at the start, this is a, a rule book that's in beta. So uh, so the materials you're about to see are all, all beta form. Um, but even so, there's some awesome stuff in here. <laughs> um, land of Eam is, is written by uh, and designed by the creators of the Rickety Stitch. Um, uh, and oh, this one, and the gelatinous goo, um, graphic novel series for kids. Um, I love this. The the art in here by Ben Costa and James Parks is fantastic, or, or the writing, it's all just this really cool stuff with characters that I enjoy already just by seeing the pictures. They're, they're dynamic. They got stuff going on. Uh, I just I just want to play this 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 penguin <laughs> at a masquerade. Uh, it's fantastic. Um, I, I like the... Uh, I, I... Oh god, I, I like the weird goblin character with the the mask. It looks like he's ready to get in a fight. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be a battle of the bards. Exactly. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. Um the big thing I wanted to start by talking about is actually the the dice mechanic. That's kind of as I look at a game system. Excuse me, that's where I start. Um mm -hmm. in this one, D12s. We're back. Um yeah. <laughs> this is taking the best of a couple different worlds, I think, for, for role-playing games. Um, I'll tell you right at the start that this, this is a game about, uh, from what I've read, exploration. There's a lot of, of all of you kind of searching around for the next thing. Like, what's over there? Let's go find out. Um, exploration is a big part of this game and that kind of adventurous spirit. And with that in mind, it makes sense that the mechanics of the game are based in not fully qualified, uh, unqualified successes, right? <laughs> we see this D12 plus skill. Um, you'll see complete failure, failure with a plus, woohoo, or success with a <laughs> twist, yeah. <laughs> um, success and then complete success, of course. It's kind of our, our critical there. And I, I love this. I don't play with these very often, but even playing D&D, &D, which has a yes or no, I always, I, I, I want this, you know, if someone yes. just hits the DC barely, I don't put a twist on it, but I describe it that way. You know, you just barely scrape your way in. Mm -hmm. um, if someone just fails, you always want to be like, oh, you, you know, you were so close. Uh, the system lets you succeed or fail with those things in mind. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, and I, I, I would love to see more systems kind of work that way. Mm -hmm. um, there's a little bit of that in Pathfinder too, but I, I do like the... I, I like that this one. It's 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 failure with a plus. I yes. that's the specific one that I really enjoy. Yep. Um, it, you know, success with a twist is great too. But I, I like the idea of failure with a plus. If you look at the example, uh, mm -hmm. like for picking a locked door, you fail to pick the locked door, but you notice another more dangerous way inside. Right. That's that's ah. the kind of stuff I love. <laughs> yes. When it comes to games, it's so good. Um, right, tricking some a, guards. Oh, yeah. yeah, sorry. It's 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 not just a yes and. It's also huh. a uh, no but system. <laughs> right, and I feel like that is so helpful. And as a GM, it's very difficult to do. I think to pull off effectively because I don't I don't know what is going to be the the no but. What's the but? I didn't plan for one. Right, you know, if I'm writing and scripting a really linear adventure, um, I need you to get through that door to get to the room where the battle's happening. If you can't pick the door, then what? You know, then what? So. Right. 
I, I like the scramble of this. I like the, the improvisation. And that feels like a big part of this game is kind of just just diving into those. Let's let's move the story forward. But let's let's mm -hmm. focus on how can I make it more interesting, um, which is really fun. <laughs> yeah. I, anything that moves the story forward, like even failures, I in D&D, &D, I don't I don't always want them to be just the dead oh. end. Yeah. Um, sometimes they have to be a little bit like, you know, uh, yeah, you failed on unlocking that door. You have to find another way. Right. Uh, but I, I love the idea of like, oh, you attempted to jump a pit. Ah, you were so close. You didn't quite make it. Right. Uh, why don't you roll a saving throw to see if you can grab the edge? Or, uh, you know, one of your companions can roll a dexterity check to see if they can catch you in time, that type of thing. Yeah. I, I, I like those those kinds of features where just because the the die failed doesn't necessarily mean the hero failed because they're heroes they're 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 yeah. out there um you know just 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 all the time being these adventures they're professionals right and this is right. and you'll hear me talk about this also is i hate critical failures i don't think they should <laughs> exist uh, yeah. rolling a one is meaningless in my games it's just a one mm -hmm. um and 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 so so I, I i just anything that that prevents that like oh done no you failed that's it save yeah, versus yeah. death you're done isn't isn't my play style <laughs> right yeah. um i am just of course uh checking our time um <laughs> we gotta push through our review we gotta we got guests waiting for oh. us <laughs> oh man all right uh, so um uh, just taking a, another look at this, right? This next page, I just want to focus on real quick because this is, oh, this is good stuff. Who I've never seen a page like this in an RPG. I don't think ever. Mm -hmm. um, what is your job while playing the game? That's not usually how I think about it, but I love this this focus on if you were playing the game, what what should you be doing? You know, not just roll, you know, uh, rolling the dice so that you can do your extra attack once you hit fifth level or something, but very specifically like role play, explore, be cooperative. I love those big, bold call outs about what you should do as a player. Um, and similarly on the GM side, it's be <laughs> give interesting and difficult choices. Like, yeah. Games are more exciting if you can do that. So, so go for it. Um, oh, this book is so good. <laughs> um, to, to take a couple minutes, uh, the game only has six classes, but they're all pretty unique, um, pretty exciting. The bards, uh, loyal chums. The gnomes are, are natural magic users, very druid-like. We got a couple kinds of roguey characters. Mm -hmm. um, there is kind of the loyal chum. That's kind of yeah. my favorite one. If you if you wanted Samwise as a class, there you are. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, I mean, Samwise uh, is the hero. Is of the those hero? Movies. Right. Um, <laughs> We've got rules here for a session zero that you should have filling out your relationships with other characters because you should have one. Your yep. personal quest, your backstory. I love this stuff. Ideals I and do flaws. like they also that they also point out the TTRPG safety toolkit uh, as mm -hmm. something to consider whenever you're doing this as well. Yeah. Um, in the character Very good. sheet. Let's take a quick look at this character sheet. Yeah, look at those four stats on the left side, uh, if you can see them. Um, there is Vim, Vigor, Knack, and Know How. Um, and at the start of the game, you have to give them modifiers. That's all. One of them gets a plus two, one gets a plus one, a plus zero, and a minus one. Which means on that D12, you're one of your main stats, you're always going to be subtracting one from it. Um, mm -hmm. Of course, unless you have a skill that boosts that up. Uh, and I love that. That means for some characters, success, unqualified success is not on the table, um, yeah. which I, I kind of like, honestly. You know, D&D, &D, you make an Arcana check. I don't have Arcana, but I rolled a 20. So cool. Mm, cool. <laughs> yeah. This just says you, you kind of can't do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, just, oh gosh, there's so much. Uh, level 10 ability for the bard. The bard's cool. The bard's great. Uh, is narrative teleport. Bard's tale. Once per session oh, at the end of the scene, you can just transport yourself and the party to the next scene by just telling a story about how you got there. Like, And so we traveled across the scary forest through the, the what, what is it from Elf? <laughs> 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 through I, the I candy cane forest and then across the Brooklyn Tunnel, whatever. <laughs> Um, and then you're there. You're there. Done. Hand wave it. I love it. Uh, it's a very cool story with a lot of really interesting ideas. Um, we're going to have to dig into this, I think, a second time, um, which we have already discussed, uh, mm -hmm. Justin and I. Um, yep. I, we're chatting with these. Uh, uh, we want to chat with these designers and get them in here and talk about what makes this game really interesting and exciting. Um, yeah. So this is excited. your preview for you to get excited. Yeah. But uh, 
is now the time for guests? Uh, I will say that you can go onto the website for the, the Land of Eam and you can get your copy of the beta rulebook um, to check out. It is, oh gosh, 180 pages, something like that. So there's lots of material for you to check out. <laughs>